hell hath no fury like a woman scorned? It's not like we don't have a plethora of entertainment content that shows what can happen when a partner strays in marriage. I mean, old Bugs ends up getting boiled. Well, Prime Video has a new tense drama called Wilderness. It stars Jenna Coleman and Oliver Jackson Cohen. Are you going to add this one to your binge list? British couple Liv and Will seem to have it all. A rock-solid marriage, a glamorous new life in New York, and are still young enough to feel that their whole lives are ahead of them. That is, until Liv learns about Will's affair. Heartbreak is swiftly followed by another emotion, fury. Revenge is her only option, and when Will proposes a trip around America's epic national parks to give their relationship a fresh start, Liv knows just what she'll do. So this is a six-episode series, and for all intents and purposes, I believe it's a limited series, especially because this provides a solid conclusion to the story. Coleman and Jackson Cohen, they are very dynamic in this. He's pretty despicable the entire way through, but she goes back and forth between sympathetic and unhinged. Now, the setup is pretty cut and dry. Newlywed couple Liv and Will seem to be happy until Liv discovers Will's been sleeping around. Now, obviously, this isn't happy news to Liv, but she decides that maybe they can work it out. Either that, or she'll bash his brains in. Now, the first episode has a bit of dark humor to it, when Liv has thoughts of murder that we then get to see play out. There's sort of a whimsy to the violence, but then it's never showcased again. All the other episodes are completely dramatic and filled with anxiety and dread. It seems like there's one thing after another that piles onto the relationship. And while there are moments that feel like plot conveniences to keep a character in a certain situation, most of the actions, they're pretty logical. There is one interaction, though, towards the very end when a character is being questioned by the police about how some violence erupted. And the writing doesn't provide the most obvious answer that the police are the actual impetus and cause. And while that is a factual line, it would change the course of the story somewhat, reducing some of the suspense and the anxiety. For me, though, it was one of those very obvious moments when a character had a gotcha mic drop moment, but didn't take it. Each of the episodes is about 45-ish minutes to close to an hour, so the whole thing is a bit of a bench. But I did it all in one sitting because I became invested in the twists and then I needed to know the outcome for the characters. And while I was enthralled, it's somewhat emotionally exhausting to experience. The dynamics between the players are vivid and palpable, more often than not hedging towards something very unsavory. And while the whole show is dark and angry and cruel, which I really enjoyed, it also takes too long to tell the story, instead retreading over some situations and conversations that cover the exact same bit of emotion and conflict, which then drags the momentum down. Now, it's not like we're watching the same set of scenes or sequences, but the ideas, the conversations, and complications, they're all very similar, creating that feeling of, I think I just watched them do this. Now, along with Coleman and Jackson Cohen, the series also stars Ashley Benson and Eric Balfour. Now, they play a couple that Liv and Will meet at one of the parks. There's a ton of tension that's built. And yeah, I mean, most of it is totally predictable and obvious, but that doesn't take away from the discomfort and the dread that permeates all of their interactions. In these first couple of episodes, there's so much setup that takes place, just lighting the fuse that will begin to burn faster as the episodes progress, ending with some explosive consequences. Now, all four create a very uncomfortable grouping, which is then exacerbated by information that comes to light. But there are also two in the group that we almost instantly feel sympathy for, while the other two can ignite our ire. And I love the unpleasantness and the uneasiness that's present in the first couple of episodes. There are times later in the show when these are felt again, but I don't think to the full degree as when the four are hiking and talking with each other like they do at the start. Now, because we know the answer to the mystery that's playing out, the intrigue of this comes from the pursuit and the idea of whether or not somebody is going to get caught for what they did. While there's already been a ton of deceit in the show, I mean, that's really what the whole premise is built around, there's even more that continues to unfurl, making it difficult to swallow even the tamest of claims from characters. Now, there will probably be some yelling at your TV because a character will do something that is clearly not smart and then completely counterintuitive to the smarts that we know they have, but that also makes it a fun watch. Something I don't typically call out in a show is the soundtrack. And starting with Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do for the opening credits, and then continuing throughout the show, there are so many excellent earworms. Now, most of them I wasn't familiar with, but they're moody, mostly pop, but they're also catchy and melodic. And more often than not, the lyrics reinforce story elements so they fit perfectly. 
So for me, while Wilderness may have a familiar storyline, the series uses the cast expertly to create an ongoing sense of apprehension while also successfully building twists to the outcome. Jenna Coleman and Oliver Jackson Cohen perfectly encapsulate a dysfunctional and toxic marriage partnership that should just end, yet continues to slog on, leaving a wake of tears and devastation in its path. The series does suffer from a bit of repetition, but the darkness and anger within the story keep it compelling despite some lulls. There's sex, nudity, a ton of profanity, and some very brutal violence. I give Wilderness three and a half out of five couches. So what's a tense or maybe anxiety-ridden show that you've seen lately that was good? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.